right here. And that's how bright the standard issue 4509 is. Notice it's directional beam, kind of flat directional beam, and that's the light up against it, and that's about a 20 foot, 18 feet away from the light source. Here is the LED, 17 and a half watt LED, and uh, can connect the way it's supposed to be connected that to. And there's the light source. Notice that there's really not polarized, it's not got a light beam, it's a lot farther, the light spreads over a lot larger area, and pretty bright. Okay. Okay, this will be both light sources side by side. Make that connection there. That won't work. Connection there and there. This will be a connection of both light sources side by side. We can see them as far as you can see. You can see the regular spotlight. is a lot brighter than this one here. Do they need to be lighter, brighter for um, the taxi away? Probably not. But you can see the spotlight will pretty well take away completely if you have it in there the right way. Pretty well take all the light away from the LED light and it's it's kind of to me just a little bit disappointing exactly in how bright the spotlight is versus how bright this is especially using them both as a landing light for experimental aircraft only not using them as a certificated airplane even though that the white light would be used as a certificated airplane and this one here is definitely not near as bright to me. Now it could be the distance length if we was probably out at a different length focal point, something of that nature there might be different. That's the test. I would say that as a last test, if you actually take a look at what the circle of light is, it gives a complete circle of light all the way out as you can see it out of my white building but if you take a look at the circle of light it's a pretty wide circle of light and a pretty defined circle of light so you're getting a lot larger light span of it just by virtue of it being so large a diameter as far as that now it does seem like it brights, lights up plenty bright and uh, when it's outside so I think it would work as a landing light if the lifespan is 40,000 hours versus 25 hours I'd say that that's a lot of difference in the, the test life with span. 45 oh no you'll notice how small a beam pattern that it is and uh, so it is definitely a lot of difference in the actual beam size itself let's go ahead and get it up against the uh, house you can see the beam is not real big in diameter and uh, seems bright right there in the very spot place that it is but if it was pointed down it'd be just a very small place no light around it other than it and also if you look back at the building see the building's pretty well lit up but there's nothing above the building and behind the building so it's a very very narrow focal length of beam